Hey folks and welcome back. My name is Michael and today we are looking at Q4OS 4.10 codenamed Gemini with Trinity desktop environment. What exactly is so amazing about Trinity and why it has such a lasting effect? All of that is now in the video. Stay tuned. Q4OS is a fork based on Debian stable currently Bullseye. However, unlike Debian, Q4OS has not resisted property software if necessary. Where it made sense, non-open source packages were also provided. An absolutely plausible and also pragmatic approach. Today we are stepping into a time capsule as today we are looking at Q4OS with Trinity Desktop, a solution that builds on an ancient KDE desktop environment while having surprisingly low performance scores. But more on that later. The underlying release of Q4OS here is Q4OS 4.10 Gemini with Trinity Desktop. This version was released on August 1, 2022. It's not the brand new version of Q4OS, but it's the latest version. Let's check what's new. Debian Bullseye 11.4 package level and Trinity Desktop 14.0.12. Wow, that was pretty short, wasn't it? Don't worry about the Debian 11.4 package status just mentioned. This was just the latest at the time Q4OS 4.10 was released. Meanwhile, the package status is the level of Debian 11.6. Just simply update the system regularly and you are up to date with the latest Debian packages. Not to worry. Let's check the technical key points. The minimum requirements for Q4OS are the follows. If you use Plasma Desktop, 1 GB CPU, 1 GB of memory and 5 GB disk. If you use the Trinity desktop, we have 300 MHz CPU, 265 MB RAM and 3 GB disk. Yes, you see correctly and again, yes I know, for the year 2023 the values looking alarmingly low the end. It is precisely here that the secret which we will reveal in the further video lies hidden. The traditional Debian distribution model is also fully effective here. So, static and there are mostly security updates. As architecture, Q4OS supports 32-bit and 64-bit hardware. In addition, an image for Raspberry Pi and PinePhone is available. ARM architecture is supported, but a setup guide on the download page should be viewed beforehand. APT works here as a package manager. The native package format is Debian package. Q4OS feels at home on the Linux desktop, no question. But now you don't want to address the newest and boldest desktop computer as home, but rather older computers. And this is where the Trinity desktop comes into play, because extremely useful results can be expected on older hardware. Furthermore, you don't have to activate the Contrib and non-free package sources in Debian on Q4OS. My system took up 7.1 GB of disk space. As of memory usage, the system grabbed 389 MB of RAM. The number of packages is enclosed 1789. However, I installed NeoFetch and thus installed about 10 packages. So feel free to subtract these to be completely correct. Currently, Q4OS 4.10 delivers Trinity Desktop R14.0.12, as you can easily see. Trinity is not the very latest desktop concept. On the contrary, it looks like KDE desktop environment looked almost 20 years ago. After all, we are seeing the continuation of the traditional KDE desktop here. I used to use SUSE and Mendrake with KDE back in the early 2000s. What can I say? One or the other seemed familiar to me. I carry it with fond memories, but do I want to go back there at all costs? I don't think so, because it's good the way it was and it's good the way it is. Trinity more or less carries out the KDE legacy. The concept is reminiscent of Windows 7 or previous Windows versions. Below is a bar with a menu. Let's check it out. Here it is. I decide our quick starters here. And on the right hand side there are indicators and control panels. Open programs are just grouped in the bar by default via the app symbol. This just saves space. If you want to change your theme, no problem. Just go to the control panel. Then here appearance and themes. 
and then here theme manager and now you have a selection of different themes I will take a look through some of them so here uh, more or less older Windows versions this was the default theme of Q4OS in the past Redmond yeah more or less old Windows versions slide is Windows XP I'll apply it now once yes uh, if you like it okay let's check spring sunshine oh my god <laughs> wine classic I will apply also this theme yeah, this is more very old Windows versions before Windows XP, Windows 2000 and older ones, 98, 95. Yeah. I will go back to the default theme. And here we go. You could also change the look of your system not only the theme, you can also change the look. I will close this now here and go to the look switcher. But if you apply one of those themes, you have to look out. I cannot do it right now because I'm recording this video. So just for your information, you can do it here. Let's check the pre-installed software. We have Linux kernel 5.10. As browser, we have Firefox and Conquero. As email client, there's Thunderbird. As office package, there's LibreOffice, and as software container, there's nothing pre installed. Let's take a general look at the pre installed software. A basic equipment for the desktop is included. I identified bundled games. From my point of view, they must not necessarily pre install shipped, but okay. I mentioned the browser redundancy from Conquera and Firefox for the sake of completeness. If you need more software than is included, then open the software center. You can find it here. Go to the menu. Software Center. Hmm. It finds nothing. Install application. Click here. And it's loading the Software Center. Don't know why it didn't find it, but okay. We got it. You see here 57 applications are available. Maybe from other app stores, from other platforms, you know a little bit more availability of apps, but okay. This is just a selection from the developers. We now take a quick look what is available here. You have Synaptic, Google Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, LibreOffice, VLC Media Player, Thunderbird, you can install HP Driver, Skype, NVIDIA Drivers. What else? We have TimeShift, Simple Screen, Kitchen, KDE NLive, Enscape, GIMP, Blender, Audacity, yeah, it's just a selection. If you need more, then I recommend you to use the Synaptic Manager. There you can find all applications available in the Debian repositories. The Trinity menu reminds me of KDE Kickoff, who knows it from before. The pleasant thing about this is that it can be adjusted using the size in the top of the right corner, here. Admittedly, it doesn't look so fresh as it do anymore, but it serves its purpose. Perhaps always keep it in mind, Trinity is not or was not newly developed, but continues and builds on what already exists. But what does all this have to do with sustainability? How long will a computer use on average? I can't provide exact data on this, but I assume a period of 3 till 8 years. Perhaps you also know some people who buy a new computer every two till three years because the old one is too slow. But is such a decommissioned computer suddenly really that bad? I dare to doubt it. Often these older computers can still be used for a good purpose. Windows 11 won't run on it anyway because of the missing TPM module and I won't imagine how Windows 10 runs on a five till eight years old computer. Yes, it will work somehow. Just how? 
And this is exactly where a Q4OS with Trinity desktop comes into play. Older computers in particular, which are a bit weak from today's perspective, can benefit from the resource-saving Trinity desktop. You can still expect a usable user experience from an older computer with roughly 4 GB of RAM. And when was the last time you used a computer with 4 GB of RAM? It probably already is a while ago, right? Basically, a sustainable concept in the sense of making all the computers with Q4OS and Trinity fit for practical use again can be worth considering. However, this has also certain limits in terms of feasibility. If you enjoy watching 4K videos on YouTube and then use a 10 years old computer, it could overwhelm it. So approach the matter with moderation. Another stumbling block could be if it's an older computer that mutants into a deluxe power guzzler with the CPU and the remaining components. It's okay for shorter periods of use, but it probably won't be the best solution for daily use of several hours. You can get an amateur from your trusted electronic retailer for a little money, an investment that pays off. Not only to check the computer, but also find other power guzzlers in your household. Let's come to the conclusion. I like the concept of Q4OS with Trinity Desktop. It closes the cycle broken by manufacturers' greed for profit by constantly suggesting to their customers that they always need the latest and greatest. Of course, you don't need a new computer every two till three years, but of course there are many exceptions. However, with Q4OS is accompanied by certain losses in the desktop. The desktop no longer looks like the latest generation, neither Windows nor KDE Plasma, to be honest. If that doesn't bother you, then it's definitely worth a try. If you don't like it, alternatives like Xubuntu or Lubuntu might be a better solution for you. You can expect a stable basis with long-term maintenance from Q4OS since it's based on Debian Stable. If you like that, Trinity not so much, then there is also an addition of Q4OS with KDE Plasma. For me, it was a nice journey with Q4OS Trinity. It's been a trip down memory lane and after 20 years of using Linux, it never ceases to amaze me how long project and desktops can live. I'll be honest enough to say that I can imagine Q4OS with Trinity for me. It just doesn't fit my idea of a desktop. Here I would actually go for a solution with XFCE like Debian with XFCE, Xubuntu or Linux Mint XFCE. In my opinion, that would be the strongest competitor to Q4OS with the Trinity desktop environment. If you share my opinion and like the video in general, then you're welcome to leave a free channel subscription. Doesn't cost you anything, but helps me a lot. Applause is the artist's spread and subscriptions that of the YouTubers, you could say. I don't want to close the post now without asking for your opinion. How did you find Q4OS with Trinity? Please share your opinion in the comments. I'm curious what you have to say. A big thank goes out to all of you for the friendly attention. Take care until the next video. Good day ladies and gentlemen. Bye.